All right, Mike, it's Kentucky Derby time, the best betting race of the year. Can't wait. Uh, tell all the folks, you know, why is it such a good betting race? Yeah, I can't wait either. Uh, and I'm so sorry it only happens once a year. Uh, and for the, all these horses, once in a lifetime, right? So, and that's part of the um, magic about this race, which is you got, for the first time and probably the last time, uh, a field of 20 three-year-olds, many of which still maturing and figuring it out. Uh, you also have this um, phenomenon of, for most of these horses, for all of these horses, uh, none of them have gone a mile and a quarter. Mm -hmm. And uh, they probably, many of them won't go a mile and a quarter for the rest of their career. So you have that. Plus you have these very um, intense pace and trips uh, because of the crowded field. Um, sort of uh, also exacerbated by a crowd of about 150,000 fans uh, shouting and, and getting a lot of those horses kind of nervous. So it's it's a race like no other, and that's why we love it so much. Plus, it's the reason there is a super screener, um, because what we had noticed over time was that it requires a whole different set of handicapping criteria because of all these firsts. Um, but over time, we've been able to understand what does it take for a horse to win the Derby? Why are those who are expected to score well at low prices, why do they fail? And then uh, maybe even more importantly, of the many, many long shots, 10, 12, 14 that are in this race every year, what are the one or two that have the best shot to hit the Superfecta? And I think if um, knowing that this race is so, so difficult and there's so many horses, you can't bet them all. So having a tool like the super screener to kind of really whittle this down with confidence, I think that's the ultimate benefit of this product. Yeah, it's great. I mean, the, the race, like you said, it's it's unlike any other and there's so much chaos with it. And uh, the super screener kind of really, you know, leads on all those patterns of the past to kind of whittle down to the true contenders you need. Um, but also you do such a great job of just grabbing all the information that's available. And, you know, Mike, it's been amazing the last two years We've sent readers updates um, the day of the Derby to add Rich Strike to tickets because he wasn't in the race on Friday. And we and we emailed everybody on Saturday when Forte scratched to put Mage in his place. So both of those updates were amazing. A lot of people hit some, some fantastic tickets. And can you just talk about that? That was just amazing updates and timing um, that, the last two years. Yeah, I mean, we, we, really, um, we, we really cherish our subscribers. We want to make sure that in a race of this magnitude where, you know, many are um, probably bringing their biggest bankroll uh, to this race uh, for those who are even just race, uh, wagering this for the first time or for those very experienced handicappers. So, you know, changes like that uh, where you, you have any horse who's coming out of this um, derby can change the pace complexion and alter the way that affects all the other horses and their scoring. So as soon as those changes are made, we go back and literally rescore um, all of the horses in this race um, so that we can then provide any guidance that says, hey, wait a minute, um, like we like we did this year uh, or last year, which is just uh, you know going to have to sub um, uh, some horses in and some horses out. But Mage became the horse to play, and that really worked out super well. Um, and then in the Rich Strike, Rich Strike, um, consideration this one was always on our radar and we were hoping as we've had conversations about that horse there's video of that uh, we were really hoping this horse would get in the race because we thought that would then ultimately be the, the best long shot um, but as of Friday we thought well probably not going to happen and then it did <laughs> and yeah. uh, and then therefore we said oh my goodness you know make sure you know bulletin uh, get this horse in your wagers so um, pretty shocking they actually won the race but uh uh, amazing yeah. that um, that became then the the go to long shot in the race. So that's what we do. That's what's part of the, it's just part of this product. Uh, we'll make sure everybody's up to date on any of these changes and then uh, re guide you on recommended wagers and any other strategies. All right, can't wait. And uh, you can get all the information in the super screener at picks.horseracingnation.com.